Hey there, Ryan again. Made this video because a question came through on Facebook. I uh, wanted to know if you could send uh, personalized images like some of the outbound email systems that exist. And of course, the answer is yes, you can in Go High Level or High Level. Um, and it's really easy, actually. I didn't even know if it was possible before recording this video. I just assumed it was. It took me about five minutes to figure out. Let's jump straight into it. So <clears throat> the first thing I did was I just created a template and the template that I made was called image personalization. Um, what I do then is I just email with that template. Now to show you the inner workings of the template itself, um, let's go and have a look. So if we go to our marketing area and then I go to emails and then templates and of course it doesn't work in plain text emails because if you're rendering an image it needs to be in HTML. So let's just have a look what I did. So here it goes. Um, essentially what you want to do <clears throat> here when it finally decides to load. Here we go. Um, so I want to put a, an image in here and then I basically have a number of options for replacing the variable with, you know, something like their name or something like that. Um, so as you can see here, um, I've got an image. And if we look at the properties of the image, it is um, a URL. And then all we do is replace the name variable in that image with the variable that you want to use. So this is going to come through and say, you know, use the word Ryan if I send it to me, um, anywhere in that image that I've put it. Now, I there's there's about three or four different options here. I went with nifty images. So essentially what I did is I went to nifty nifty images and let's just see how that goes. Um, I went and created um, an account with Nifty Images. It gave me a free account to try it out. So here it is, Nifty Images. I created a free account on Nifty Images. And it essentially lets you do whatever you like, right? So we're in a, a LinkedIn automation company. So I thought this image would be cool. So I basically just grabbed this image um, and then I uploaded it to um, this section. So here it is, you go into the image yourself and then of course like you're essentially then um, wanting to add a merge tag layer, right? So if you drag that onto the canvas, that's the thing you wanna replace. And if it doesn't have a value, it'll look for some sort of default, right? So I've got you um, as a default value. So if you do have a blank name for any reason, it does have something to fall back to so the value is not blank. So you set that up in Nifty Images. And then if you save that, it gives you the URL essentially. So it's pretty easy. Um, and then if I just move my face out of the way, generates a preview, you can see what it's gonna look like. Um, and then if I just go to um, the personalized image, just go close, save, and then the image tag here, it gives you the URL, right? So you could use it anywhere on the web, but essentially it's saying, okay, well, here's the image and then insert the, mer the merge tag there. So that's super easy. All you need to do then <clears throat> is come over here tell the image URL that it's the rest of that, and then the contact or first name goes there. So you save that, stick it in a workflow, use it, and then to show you that it actually does work, um, we will test it, and we'll test it with myself. I've renamed myself to Johnny, just so you can see that it works. So Johnny Smith, let's run it. And it's a large image, you know, you're not supposed to use an image that uh, is so big. There it is, Piper, welcome aboard. Bang, 
Johnny, off you go. Hope this helped. Um, any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, I don't need anything in return for this, but I would love a like or a subscribe. Thank you. Bye.